Okay, we are back. Now let's just let me just count thirty minutes from here, since I'm deciding to time the episodes a little bit better. I can jump down. All right, let's just do that. <laughs> oh, what's this? Whirlpool, some sort. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want it. Okay, I can't take the fish. Oh, there's a cavern. <laughs> yeah, I should go for the block. Yeah, the block is not that responsive. I can see the attack animation now. Right. I think I just have to get used to it. Some more to the left. Maybe a bit more to the left. Oh, this is really tweaky. Alright, pardon me if you are in fury. Watch that. That is my first. Dispel. Oh my days. I don't like these sort of mini games. Great sword, I shouldn't have leveled up too quick. <laughs> Bam! Whom! Alright, I'm using that for a bit. Elemental resistance of this. It's not really a block. Oh, it's just, it's just a look. Alright. It's another diving spot. <laughs> Can I harvest you? No. Alright, let's go back up here and see what's up. I told them we needed more guards. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just 
breaking up your supplies here. Don't mind me. Just, just don't like boxes or barrels. Mm-hmm. Oh bloody hell! You guys have no supplies. Thank Matharu, another survivor. Are there any more? I suppose that's a little bit of kindness from fate. May those still trapped inside rest peacefully. Why, I lad, lass. Stay safe. We'll be moving soon. You best be. This is a saving spot. Guess I'll get some alchemy materials. Or reagents. Reagents. Oh! That's cheaty, how could you dodge that? Whoa. <laughs> that was a bad. Dodge the first attack. Oh. Oh. Push you away, you son of a you. bitch. I remember you. You're you're the one. How did you come back? How did you find me here? I don't know who you are. Oh, are you the baldy guy from? No, I had no idea anything like that would happen. The Well of Souls is bigger than one gnome's pet project. My employer pays for information about its progress. I just send the reports to make some money on the side. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me some a bitch. Okay. Here. It's all I've got. Now Plus scram. I paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa. Actually, I want to kill you. <laughs> Good oh, you can't do well. can't pull one of them moves. <laughs> Oh, that was over the top. Oh, more people to kill. I actually want to use the long sword. I guess that blocks. I'm not really I keep saying that. I have to keep reiterating the point, like I have to explain myself. This is why I'm bad. Please don't hate me. Alright. Mines. Is this a mini dungeon? Do we have enough consumables? More than enough. Yeah, let's do this. What can we find here? Oh, 
are two pathways. When is that to split? Oh, I guess we'll open this when we circle around. Or not. So it is two pathways. Okay, let's just check out this doorway. Deadly traps. Where? This sun is really messing up my vision. Go for me, stop going backwards. room back wow that really doesn't know Toast will travel here. Oh, I will not go for that. Oh, should I? Will it just break? I've got no lock picking skill though, well, I won't try. I'm not risking it. Okay, let's keep going. Oh yeah, I can sprint. <laughs> You're right mate. Just hanging out, eh? Alright. See you later. I'll come back for that chest. Just keep an eye on it. Oh! Go for the other one. Oh, come on, block. Oh, that hurts. Oh, yeah. Every time he throws, I have to dodge. Come on, camera angles. He 
this wall is going to jump in the other direction, isn't it? I need to get some decent gear. What were you protecting? Nothing. Alright. Let's run up here. Oh, damn. No wonder why he was locked there. Mm. This is savages. Can't break you up. Loot this place. Oh, come on. Those combos really take me out. Not gonna try. Travis. Yes, new pants. Yeah, I'll wear it. <laughs> oh, that looks ugly. I recall seeing an option to disable. Let's go. Let's go. Let's find something. Should I go for an average? Let me try. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Uh, I don't know if those are useful yet. I'll just carry on. Time to go back. Okay, that hurt me. Ah, oh, never. Easy one. Oh, I don't know if I want to use that. We geared ourselves for the next part. Let's see what the story has story has to offer. An area 
agents. Give me your great sword and your armor and your beard. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. Well, I changed fate. I wish I could, but time. What? I was ninety-five percent. I've barely got enough to pay my bar tabs as it is. You, you're the one. Then that means it all makes sense now. No, it doesn't. The cards this morning. I drew the grave digger, the running man, and the beast. <laughs> the running man. Yourself. They're coming. Oh. These punks. Oh. Eat, eat. Electricity. Hey, fate energy. Oh, that you comboed my ass. What was that? I didn't get to read that. Ah. Oh. Oh, you, you ruined that. Oh, what was that? Can I see that again? That note. Okay, fate energy. of fate I am half -light. I've seen them before but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that you just changed how the world was supposed to work how did you do that someone rubbed poop on my face Hughes may have brought you back to life but that was still part of fate's plan nothing short of a god can do what you did come here I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. I don't That's believe fine, in fate. You don't have to. I can see that you're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your thread in the weave of fate. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that yeah, much... Yeah, you're tripping. Uh... 
Uh. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. I am immortal. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. No, it won't be a rope. I'm a brawler. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly. I can't make sense of them. You're just Normally tripping. the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something sure, very man. wrong with you. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. Goodbye. I'm not bothered. Alright. Only nine gold. Give me a better longsword. You are too slow. I'm getting hurt too much. Gotta run fast. Zoom. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oop. Armor. Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. I should have done this before I started. Sorry about that. Dialogue. Got to change it. No, this cow. I want to ride you. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. Those look pretty nice. Considering all this Everyone, just stand back. The warden can't work when you're. Where the hell did you so guys close? come from? Go back to your business. Go on. This is oh. like. Damn red legion. Oh, oh. You have a stomachache. I'm exhausted. 
I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's oh. savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. Oh. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. She's still alive. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. She's still alive. She simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well, you're the only Give me one. Help. Should be help. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her oh, wisdom. Of the spyglass. I, I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. It's just a stomach ache. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Hope you stay in town. Okay. Ooh, what can I do here? First, destroy these evil crates and boxes and barrels. Be gone with you. Ooh. Ah, I think I know what this is. This is from the DLC. <laughs> I would just tear through the game with this. I am playing on hard mode. Whoa, which gear is low level? Oh no. Is there some sort of chest I can store all of this gear in? Need supplies? Try the corner shop. You there? Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? I want to sell. Okay. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. Oh, you calm your know, face. Something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that if just released, my chair, sir, could for cause the creaky devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula. But he's gone missing as well. Uh, yeah, I'll help you. I do not deserve such good will after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Farhal, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it! It's the only way to keep us safe. Uh goodbye. Okay, I came in hoping. <sighs> I wanna get rid of my inventory. Don't I have a chest? Oh I have to add it to junk.
I guess since I do have the DLC, I am going to use it and be a cheaty person. Let me just clear out my inventory. Time is of the essence. That's never been. More true. Goodbye. So is this stuff really oh. overpowered? Or does it balance according to my level? Because if I ended up one hitting everything, that is not that fun. Oh. oh Sorry <coughs> That. And I am going to enable my helmet because I look badass as a whole. Oh uh, no. Get out of that. And I have to head somewhere. What is the mission hiding? Why are its gates forever closed? These are whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. Their light of hope will leave you in shadow. Okay. What's up here? Why is there an exclamation mark? Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. I don't try trust you. to learn from our mistakes. You've got a nose piercing. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Oh Haru be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey Ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Goodbye. Damn red legion. You content to live among the lives of the mission? They look down their eyes at you. They laugh at your ignorance. Does this make me run fast? Actually, I want to see what these battles well are. That's a great sword, hammer, dagger. Oh, they are balanced to my level. She is in every rock and every tree, every bud and <laughs> every stone. She is with all of us. Alright, this is the alchemy place. This is the doctor's place. Judging from the map. Mm. 
Nope, this is an inn. Hi. Damn barrels. Let me guess another Need quest. Something? Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. Some may try to colour it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. Please. You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, yeah. you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. <laughs> Don't <laughs> me. All right, there's a medic up here. I need to heal. Oh. I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch <laughs> in mind, body, or both? Ye both, please. Be careful out there. <laughs> oh, did anyone see me? Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> go, go, go! Fuck this place! Fuck everyone! You there! Halt! Oh shit! Don't Take let me money. catch you making trouble again! Be on your guard! <sighs> Bastard! 93%! Was that 93% chance to get caught? <laughs> or 93% to get away with it? Need something? <laughs> oh damn! I how long long are we? Oh. All right, I'll go up the hill. I'll do that, and then I'll end this episode off. Is it gonna be like forty minutes? I don't know. Is it gonna be an hour or something? Yeah, I'll sell you. Uh, these magical beings. Weapons do make it easier. That's for sure. And I've got a level up. Let's grab this. Grab 
grab this. I don't know if what the they say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not say forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> And once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning, at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> wow. Okay. I need you to hear that. I will go with persuasion. We've got a lot of bravado. Yes. Now. What is a great sword? Oh, I can steal health as well. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I want to swipe your face. And before we start this, I'm actually going to end off here. Alright, see you in the next one.